I've been showing you streaming setup from your laptop using the built-in camera of the laptop. If you notice, the video resolution of the built-in camera of the laptop is way too far if you compare that to the video resolution from most phones nowadays. Now, for those of you who do not know yet how to connect their phones, their tablet or iPad as a webcam, this video is for you. Without further ado, let's get started. First thing we will do from your laptop, we will search the Arion webcam. Okay, that one. And from here, the first one is the one we will select. Okay, now you will notice there are options here, whatever type of laptop you have, and that's one you are going to select. So I'm going to select Windows because I'm using a Windows uh, laptop right now. Okay, so as you can see, it is now downloading. Okay, let's uh, try to open it. Okay, there it is. So from here, they just follow the prompt, accept and hit next and next again, and then install. And hit finish. Okay, so this is now the Arian webcam we will be using later. It's up to you if you want to leave it on or you can close it and reopen it later when you start your streaming. Now, whatever devices you're going to use as your webcam, you will also have to download the Arion webcam application. So first, let's uh, download it to the uh, iPhone. So open App Store and search Arion webcam. Okay, there it is. And uh, let's uh, download this one, the first one, Arion webcam for PC and Mac. Okay, there it is. This is what it looks like when it's downloaded to your iPhone. And now let's uh, download this one to the iPad. Same thing, open App Store, search Arian Webcam. Okay, this one here. And let's uh, download this one. Okay, there it is. And this is what it looks like when you downloaded it to your iPad, so same as your iPhone. Now let's do the same thing to the Android device. So let's open Play Store and let's search Arian Webcam. And it's already over here. So let's just stop this one. And let's uh, install. Okay, and there it is. It's done. And it looks like this once it's installed to your Android devices. By the way, just so you know, I will be connecting a sound card. So this is the Monocaster E2. Uh, you don't have to have this one if, for example, you simply want to do streaming using your headset. So which means an earphone that has a built-in microphone, then you don't need to connect this one. So this is only good if, for example, you wanted to, to add some effects to your voice while you're doing your live streaming, maybe a voice changer or some reverberation, maybe for singing purposes, then that's the time you use this one. So to connect this one is very simple. So this is a USB type C, so something like that. And then this one, the other end of this is this one over here. So this is a type A. Okay, normally this one comes when you buy a Monocaster E2. Now uh, I will be connecting an earphone, so to monitor the audio. And uh, so I connected it over here at the bottom for the headphone. Okay, now let me connect uh, this one now to here, to the one that says USB-C. And I connected this uh, condenser microphone on here and I connected it to here. Okay, now because we will be connecting an XLR condenser microphone that needs uh, phantom power, then we'll have to make sure to turn this on. Okay, let's turn on first this Monocaster E2 tap this one to turn it on for this condenser microphone to work and now from the computer so just simply go to uh, settings and then sounds or you can just type in sound and then settings and then open that and from here just make sure your output or speaker is set to mono e2 as well as as well as your input so your microphone set it also to the mono Okay, so if, if it doesn't pick up, so it looks like the speaker was selected to mono, but the microphone is not on the list. Okay, so what you will do is simply disconnect it. Okay, I'm going to disconnect it right now. There you go. 
and then just reconnect it. Okay, something like that. Okay, so now let's uh, check it again. Okay, so as you can see, let's go back up here. Okay, so here as you can see, it's uh, the output is set to uh, the mono E2. And now let's go down here. So there you go. So there is now the mono as our input, as our microphone. So it's they're both selected and we're now done in there. So let's uh, X out from there. Now it's up to you, maybe when you downloaded your Irion webcam from the laptop, if you created a shortcut on that, then that's great. So for example, on here, I created a shortcut over there. And now let's, uh, and now it's up to you if you wanna open it right away or not yet. So, Okay, so maybe what we'll do is let's uh, let's open that right away. There you go. So this is what you can see once you open that. So I don't suggest you close this one because this is going to be your control to switch your camera from this device to this device to this device. Now from here, let's now open Facebook for me to do my live streaming. Okay, there you go. Okay, there it is. So I am now ready to go live. Okay, so I'm gonna hit select now from here. Okay, I'm just gonna show you quickly. This is what it looks like if you are going to, if you're going to use uh, the built-in um, camera on your on your streaming. Now, if you want to compare the uh, the video resolution, so this is what you will see if you are going to use the built-in camera of this laptop. And by the way, once you open this one here, nothing will show up there on this uh, control over here to see what camera you're, you're using. If this one, this one, or this one, unless the, the Irion webcam app on these devices are also open. So we have to open them now. Okay, there you go. So this one is open already, and now I'm gonna open this one also. Okay, and this one also. Okay, so right now, uh, this is, this is as you can see, this is uh, using the Android device. This is the resolution of the camera. And if I'm going to switch this one, the camera, to this iPhone, I'm just gonna tap this one here, and I'm gonna choose iPhone, and it will, um, it will focus, or it will show the camera I'm using uh, here, wherever I'm pointing this iPhone. And now if I'm going to use this uh, iPad on here, then that's what it shows. Again, as you can see, all those three devices are wireless, so there's no cords connected to the laptop. Now that you saw the clarity or the resolution, how different it is, using the built-in camera resolution from the laptop compared to this camera of this other devices on here. Of course, you would like to want to use your camera or Android or iPhone devices instead of the built-in camera of this laptop. I'm going to change now Irion as my webcam. Okay, there you go. So this is now what it will show when you do your streaming. Okay, from here, I'm going to start my streaming. I'm going to hit go live. Okay, I will not add a title, just gonna go live right away. There you go, I am now on a live. Now, as I showed you earlier, you have to turn this on for you to be able to control which camera you wanted to use. So again, you have to turn, you have to open this one. So for you to be able to control which camera you wanted to use. So currently I am using this uh, iPad on here and that's what it shows over here. And now if I'm going to change my camera, let's say I wanted to use my iPhone. So I'm just gonna hit over here and I'm gonna click iPhone and this will uh, show. Okay, there you go. Now, if I want to change my camera, let's say this time I wanted to use the Android device that I connected. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to select the Android device that I connected, which is over here. There you go. And in this way, you can still uh, use the, the front camera, not only the back. So let's say, for example, on this iPhone. So let's go back to this iPhone on here. Okay, so that's the back camera I'm using right now. And then I want to use the front camera. I'm, I simply tap this one here. There I am. So that is, uh, so this way I'm using the front uh, camera of this uh, iPhone. And let me just put it back. Okay, there you go. And now if I'm going to head over to this one here, to this iPad. 
Okay, so I'm showing the iPad view. And now if I want to use the front camera, same thing. Just tap this one here and there I am. And now I'm using the front view of this camera. Okay, let me just put it back again. So same as with this Android device. So if I'm going to use this uh, Android device on here, okay, there you go. And if I wanted to use the front camera, there you go. So this is using the front camera of this Android device. So again, you can point this one to wherever you want. As you can see, it is wireless. There is no cords attached to this uh, to this laptop. Now, if you are curious, if I can bring this one a little bit farther for me, of course you can. Okay, let me uh, show you. I am going to bring this iPhone to uh, maybe to my window so you can see outside. Okay, so and now let me show you if uh, the camera is, is away from me. So as you notice, the iPhone here is gone because I had placed that phone on my window. So let me select, okay, let me open this one again and I'm gonna change the camera to iPhone. Okay, there you go. So that's what you can see because I placed that uh, camera beside my window. So this is what I'm trying to point. You can, you can bring or you can point wherever you want all these devices. But if you only have one, which is fine, but if you have more, which is more fun, because maybe if you are doing, let's say karaoke, you can point, you can take turns. Uh, let's say you wanna point the camera to, through this person and then through this person and this person. So uh, that is the good thing if you have uh, quite a few cameras there, so at least you can point uh, on lots of uh, scenery or lots of uh, settings. So another feature on here is that you can use the flash from that uh, from that camera let's say for example here it's dark and you want to use the uh, flash then simply turn that on and there you go you have the flash turned on and if you want to turn it off it's like that and another feature also in doing this uh, type of set settings you can zoom in and zoom out of your camera you can either do it from this laptop let's say for example pinch inwards or outwards or you can also do it from from the device itself okay or zoom in or zoom out okay let's say for example i'm going to change this one to to uh, this ipad right there okay there you go and if i'm going to zoom it in or out there you go and same as this uh, android device on here if i'm going to zoom it in or out you can so you can do it here from this device itself or you can do that from this laptop so point it on here and then zoom it in or out. So something like that. There you go. So that's a pretty cool if you have a setting something like this. And besides, this is free. Now, let me show you, for example, you are you are live streaming and then you wanted to use this, this, uh, this Monocaster E2 as your sound card or to add some effects to your streaming. Now that I'm using this uh, monocaster e2 what i will do is i am going to sync the audio from here to the uh, video or the final output video that i will be uh, posting so that you can hear the audio output right away while me doing uh, this uh, effects uh, from here okay so again it's a good thing if you have a time some type of a sound card it doesn't have to be mono it could be something else maybe a v8 v9 m9 k1 sonido live 100 whatever you have so again you can use this one to to entertain you can use the voice changer as i mentioned earlier let's say for example so on here the voice changer is over here the one that says pitch okay so if i'm going to change this one let's say okay there you go so i am the king of the palace or something like that so now that i'm pointing this one on the king then it kind of makes sense and now if i am going to change this one let's say for example to the ipad and i'm gonna be changing my voice too so something like that and now if i'm going to point my camera or if i'm going to use a camera from this iphone
Okay, there you go. So I am now using the uh, iPhone camera. So this is uh, this is so uh, fun if you have uh, this type of thing. So again, this is good if you want to use the voice changer. So whatever you are doing on your streaming, maybe you're doing some tutorials or karaoke, then this is a good thing. So now for sound effects, preset sound effects. Uh, in this type of sound card, you would have to record your own uh, sound effects whatever you have maybe you can record it from youtube or from phone it's up to you maybe i have recorded maybe i recorded some let's just try this one here if you like this type of videos please like and subscribe okay maybe let's try this one okay there you go so uh, something like that anyway once you recorded uh, sound effects on here the volume control of that is from here okay let's do it again Okay, there you go. Okay, so uh, now, if, uh, for example, you are going to uh, do, let's say, a karaoke to your listeners or viewers, and at the same time, you want to uh, change the camera you wanted to use, or maybe pointing it to other people while you are uh, doing uh, a karaoke party at your home or wherever. Okay, maybe let's do a little uh, sample. So again, make sure this one is open for you to be able to control which camera you wanted to show on your streaming. Now I'm using the iPhone as my camera that will show on my live streaming. Okay, since uh, we will be uh, doing a sample karaoke, what I will do is I'm gonna add some reverberation or echo to my voice. Okay, there you go. And by the way, because uh, you're using a laptop, then for sure you can you can open a YouTube uh, song or karaoke song from there, and that's pretty simple. Uh, that's how you do karaoke on your streaming. Okay, so now because uh, I'm using this Mono Caster E2, I have to make sure to turn on the loopback, otherwise your viewers or listeners will not be able to hear this music that I will be playing. So only my voice will uh, will be recorded, but not this one. So again, let's make sure to turn on loopback. There you go. So loopback is on. And while you're doing your streaming, if you are using a sound card, make sure the record volume knob of that sound card is on high. Otherwise, there won't be no audio. Okay, so, so from here, the record volume knob is here, the one that says output. So I set it to almost uh, at the max so it's on high okay so now let's start uh, the uh, sample recording and again what i will do i will keep switching the camera on here okay and before i start I'm, i'll make sure i will add some reverberation to my voice there you go okay and uh, let me quickly check also the uh, the volume of my background music and to control is simply from this laptop or from here, the one that says Ox. Okay, so let's play this. And now I do have a tip for you. If, for example, you are connecting lots of uh, camera on here, just so you know, your connection might be slow. So if you still want to use lots of devices to change your camera wherever you want to point it, because I am playing also a YouTube song from here, the connection is not as good. It was cutting out. Sometimes I cannot play this karaoke song here that I wanted to play. So what you will do is I suggest just open one at a time and then and then point it. Let's say, for example, uh, if I'm going to use it, if I'm going to use this iPhone, then I did not open the Irion camera on here as well as on this Android phone for your karaoke song here to work. Right now I'm going to do a sample. There you go. Love that's beautiful and new This time I love you even better Than I ever did before And you'll be in my heart Forevermore We were just too young to know we fell in love Okay, there you go. So as you can see, you can keep switching your camera on here 
either a front or back camera, it works. So the only reason I had to turn off this, not turn off, the only reason I had to close the uh, Irion camera from this other device here because it won't let me play my uh, karaoke song here from YouTube because there's too much connections already. That's why my keyframe rate here is too low. But again, if your internet connection is good, you can open uh, lots of camera you have as long as it's it won't show keyframe rate too low. Then that means you can you are able to do it. Uh, as I showed you earlier, without playing a karaoke song from here, okay, let me just put it back there. So without uh, showing a karaoke uh, song from YouTube, I am able to open all three cameras on here, and I simply uh, switching it to wherever, whichever camera I am using. Okay, let's say for example, so I am going to control it again. Okay, let me just pull it up. Okay, I'm going to control it again from here. So this is now showing my uh, uh, iPhone. And now this is showing the iPad. And now this is showing my uh, Android phone. So again, you can switch them to front view camera by doing this one. Okay, there you go. And then put it back. Same thing. And if I'm going to switch it to iPhone, and that's uh, the back uh, view and now the front camera of the iPhone. I'm going to open this one. There you go. And then same as the uh, iPad. So opening the iPad and then if I'm going to switch it to the front view, there you go. So that is uh, how simple it is. And I should say this is a cool feature using this Irion webcam. So at least you can use uh, your phone or other devices, maybe a tablet, an iPad, an iPhone or Android devices as your camera. And plus it's movable. You can bring it to wherever you want as long as you want lost connection. So as I showed you earlier, I, I placed this iPhone at my window and showing the outside view. And that's pretty much uh, the good thing of this uh, connection. And that's all I can share for today. I hope this gives you an idea how to connect your Android devices and a tablet, Android tablet or Android phone or iOS devices, iPhone or iPad as your webcam. This is not only for, uh, for uh, Facebook streaming. You can also use this for Zoom conference meeting or even your YouTube streaming or other uh, streaming a platform you wanted to use there you go thanks again guys for watching if you like this type of video please give it a like and if you want more of this type of video consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos i will be posting keep safe and until next time